Welcome to the Darth Vapor Juice Review Channel. Guys, I thought I'd do a quick video tutorial of how to wick uh, the Doom Tank. <clears throat> so now a few people have been having some issues with it, so uh, here's the way I do it. So <clears throat> I'm not going to do anything in depth about the actual tank. I'm just going to show you how I wick it, and I've been getting sort of um, three or four days. Three or four days out of a out of a wick doing it this way, no dry hits. <coughs> I usually change it because I just fancy changing it. Keep keep it nice and clean, so you got a nice fresh wick, nice clean coil. There's no crap on there, so it's nice and clean. So put that back on there. Make sure your your mod's got low wattage. So for this, I'm going to be using cotton baker, uh, cotton gods. So essentially, we'll get a whole strip of cotton gods. Let's put that to one side. And literally, cut that in half. You could probably even cut it into a third if you wanted to. So obviously that's going to be a bit too much to fit in there so um so if you take a strip of cotton gods i would pull maybe that much off so if you got a whole strip take i don't know what's that a third third to a quarter maybe and then what I do is I kind of squish it first like that just to see and you can kind of get a feel for it but I think yeah for me that's that's enough so then what you do is just peeling this give it a brush down like that, just peel off all the little bits that you're not going to be able to use, get rid of those. Keep that bit, because once you've done three or four, there's there's an extra little piece there that you can use, so just get all that. And then get this end here, pinch it as hard as you can. And just twist that end. It looks like there's a lot of cotton there, yeah? That's what you want. Now you can... So you can try and pinch it. The problem is when you try and pinch it, sometimes you can squash the edge of the mesh. So what I tend to do... Is I'll grab my tweezers. Grab it. And pull it. Just that little bit through there. And when you pull, so it's it's hard to see the restriction, but so I'm pulling on that. It should be quite tight. And then once you've got it in, just work it back and forward a tiny bit. And what that does is it sort of releases more fibers. But that's quite tight. You can see there how much cotton is in there. There's quite a lot in there, it's rammed in. So like I say, you could probably get three wicks out of one bacon thing, so. And then you wanna be cutting it right up against the edge of that, that flat piece there, as close as you can get. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling that, cutting that, there you go, so it's 
flush with it. Because on this one, you're relying on the, the, the juice getting underneath, underneath there. You're not so much relying on any juice coming from the top like you are with a unity. So everything's from underneath. So, and you don't want too much cotton getting into that gap there. So get it nice and tight. There you go. See, I might have even cut this side a tad short, but not to worry because you can just pull it through a little bit. So it should look like that. See that piece? You could probably use that again for another one. Let's put that to one side. Right well, now, what you want to do is you want to what I've been doing is I've been getting my tweezers and, and going underneath. Let's pull that out. Going underneath to the lip, to the holes. See the holes under there? And just gently rake in. It's up to you if you want to do this or not, but I found it kind of just Pulls a few fibres down and helps. Uh, helps that wicking process. So you'll be able to see a few little fibres popping down. Just don't overdo it. Just a few. It also just gets that cotton nice and loose underneath. Now I don't know if you can see that. If you look under there now, you can see there's a bit of cotton underneath there. So as that juice is traveling in, it's just gonna suck it up and pull it through. So that's the intention anyway. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull back the top of this cotton at the top here, as much as you can. And then you wanna poke, poke that down. You see how short I've cut that, but it's still it's still coming down into the juice into that juice well. That's not to worry. So you can see it's coming down in there. And then what I do is just sort of push that up. You don't want it too far down so at the minute that's probably just about halfway but the juice will still travel through and fold that top bit back over and just make sure the top top bit here has cotton in it because that stops it from leaking. Same on this side. Pop the cotton down. And that's why you pull it back because you're putting the bottom half of that cotton in. So you just push that in there. Gonna give that a little so you can see there that the juice will still be able to travel through that because it's not too tight, it's very wispy. And then I cut. all this excess stuff off the top.
we're just getting all this excess. Cotton out of the way. So you can see it's just a little bit above the mesh there. I mean, you could probably take a teeny bit more off, but that would be suitable. And there's room for the juice to get underneath. The inside of the cotton is packed. That's what you want it to be, packed in there. I've pulled down some fibres from the middle. So that should. <coughs> it's trial and error with these new ones. So get your juice. I'm using some Kratos from Bruce Bros. <coughs> And then the reason why people have leaks on this is because if you if you don't have enough cotton, what happens is the juice just travels up and up and up and up and up. And as soon as it gets above that line, this silver line here, it just floods over and leaks back down at the air holes. So you want to get it so it's a good balance between this being clear and the top being packed and then you shouldn't get any leaks. And let that juice flow into the hole there. See, that's been sucked up. And that's just gonna be, get absorbed right into the, underneath of that cotton. And you'll know when it's when it's ready because it will it will pretty much stop absorbing. So there we go. That's it. So that's now. <coughs> ready. Clean off any excess liquid that you may well have. Put your base back on. It's the only thing I don't like about this mod is the uh, the, the base bit where you, you have to take it off, unscrew that, put it back on. It's annoying, but the flavour makes up for it. Then we fill the tank. And like Vic says, you'll know if you've got a problem. If you just leave it for a second, if it starts leaking out of the sides, then you know there's there's an issue between the underneath and liquid coming up too fast. So <clears throat> Yeah, there's no liquid. Sometimes I even just Drop a couple of little drips in the top there, just on top of that cotton. And now what I do is I just leave it for about five minutes. Just let that, because it's, you gotta remember it's a thick piece of cotton there. So um, just leave it for a few minutes. Maybe if you want to, you can give it a little couple of blasts but just leave it, let that cotton absorb. 
because it'll it'll saturate it. So five minutes, I'll generally leave it for, and then it should be good to go. But all good. So we'll uh, come back in a minute and we'll see how that vapes. So I left it for about um, <coughs> five to ten minutes. Been vaping that. Got through a bit of a tank there. So you'll know when you've done it right. When you get a full flavour. Take big blasts, but you'll see bubbles coming up instantly. Here you go, there's a bubble there. So that's wicking nice now. Flavour's good. I'll probably take a tank for the flavour to be fully there, but um, yeah, there's there's no leaks. When you first fill the tank up, <coughs> after you've put the juice on the cotton and put it all back together and fill your tank up, sometimes you do get a little bit of seepage because if you've put too much juice on the cotton before you put the top and everything back on it, you do sometimes get a little bit of seepage through the holes, but unless it's continuously leaking, like um, it might, you might see a bit of juice in the holes, but you can you can leave it, vape it, and it will disappear. It might be a bit gargly. Or just roll a little tiny bit of cotton up and shove it in the hole, and that will just suck out that juice. Because, like I say, sometimes if you've put all the juice on the cotton, put it all back together, and then filled it up, because <coughs> that cotton's already saturated, it can't handle any more juice. Um, so it kind of what it wants to try and do is, is come back up so and then it will end up in in the air hole so but not to worry if that does happen don't panic unless when you're vaping it it's gargling and leaking out then <clears throat> i wouldn't worry too much but yeah and that should last a few days three or four days however long <coughs> you leave your wicks for so um yeah there you go the doom tank good flavor Forty watts. It's not showing up, but yeah, forty watts. And I'll eventually I'll pump that up to 45, 50. And I'll probably leave it at fifty, fifty-five watts. Is where I like it. So I hope someone finds that useful. And um, yeah, hit subscribe on my channel and keep an eye out. I've got more wiki reviews coming up. So have a good evening.